Okay, uh, welcome back. Uh, second beer of the day, um, as far as you know, um, is uh, Terrapin Brewing. This is their recreation ale. It's a session IPA. So this one, I'm going to aim this more at the hop heads, people that are interested in, you know, uh, the uh, the more hoppy IPA type, type beers. Um, this one has been reformulated. When they originally made this, it was 150 calories a can. Excuse me. They, they've done some reformulation on it, and, and now it's a 99 calories a can. Uh, 4.2 ABV, 3.9 grams of carbs. So again, you know, a light beer that's not going to hurt your diet or record or anything like that. Um, this was, uh, again, by Terrapin Brewing. Uh, they're out of Athens, Georgia. Uh, the company was founded in 2002. Um, this beer is kind of a, it's their attempt to try, like I said, bring it into, bring their IPAs into the, uh, into the lower calorie, you know, fitness crowd and so on and so forth. Um, and they did a lot of experimentation on this. This beer actually has five different types of hops. Um, it has Citra, Galaxy, Amarillo, uh, Centennial, and also a Zythos hop. And I had to do some research on the Zythos hop. I hadn't heard about this one. It's apparently this uh, particular hop brand has been developed specifically for IPA. So it's supposed to have like a tangerine or citrus type uh, aroma and kind of um, um, to provide that that uh, hoppy kind of uh, citrus that you're looking for in, in an IPA. Um, you know, the citra hops and the, and the galaxy hops, of course, those are bittering hops. Uh, all of those are kind of meant to bring that herbal and, and kind of, you know, grassy type. Um, and, and, and like I said, citrus type of uh, uh, aroma to the, to the beer. And it also uses three different malts. And then, so there's a lot of stuff in this beer. Uh, it's two row barley malt, which is, you know, your standard, like I said before, the malt's the backbone of the beer. Um, the uh, the two room barley is is kind of like uh, you know it, you see that at pretty much everything you know lagers pilsners whatever but they've added also uh, victory malt and crystal twenty five and both of those are to give the beer more color and to darken it up a little bit and also to kind of give it more like a roasty kind of so the the the, uh, the especially the crystal twenty five that's a roasted malt that gives it like a darker color so um, when we pop this open uh, you'll see what I'm talking about it's a little bit darker um, than the one I did earlier um, so you'll see this when we pour it out so you can see that it's more of a orange kind of a darker orange color and the, and the, the head is also uh, you can kind of see where that that head has uh, a little bit of a brown tinge to it. Uh, again, glass uh, courtesy of Bill's Fine Liquors, uh, Beaufort, South Carolina. Um, just wanted to toss out a shout there. Uh, but uh, yeah, so you can see that. And again, it's kind of hazy, which is which is what you're looking for out of a, out of an IPA in general. And you know, a session IPA again, the idea is to get the flavor without having all the uh, you know the the high alcohol content and all the calories and so on. So. Um, like I said, and again, this is a, a very complex beer. Um, it's pretty reasonably priced. This, you know, I got it for $9.99 for six, which, again, you know, I'm not going to sit and pound a bunch of IPAs, regardless if they're session or doubles or triples or whatever. Um, but it's a good one to have around for, uh, you know, like a palate cleanser or something like that. So, so when you drink this beer, you're going to pick up on the on the biscuit, uh, the the breadiness of it, which is that that uh, crystal 25 and victory malt. Um, but you're also going to get a lot of the the the, the citrus, um, the aroma. This beer has a really good aroma, especially at that low ABV and low calorie content. It has a uh, you know again the the uh, the the grapefruit kind of uh, you know lemon. You can you can pick up on a lot of different uh, a different uh, citrus fruits with those with all those different types of hops because each one of them has a different uh, characteristic so it, I mean honestly speaking this is a, this is a really really good session IPA for those of you that are interested in in having the uh, you know again like I said a palate cleanser or you know the IPAs that that you know you can get like a, again arrogant bastard at you know seven and a half percent you can drink one or two of those and then you know um, but these you could have probably five, six, and, and have the same, you know, it, it just stretch it out over a period of time and, and enjoy them. So anyway, uh, long story short, good beer. Um, I would say for taste, I would get for, like I said, a session IP, I'm going to give it a four. 
Um, as far as the aroma, I, I really like the complexity of the aroma in this beer. Uh, again, with all the hops, the different type of hop varieties. So I would go four on that as well. Um, as far as the bitterness, this has a really, really good bitterness um, for, again, for the ABV. A lot of times people can confuse bitterness with that alcohol uh, undertone, right? So alcohol itself, the, you know, the ethyl alcohol has kind of a, uh, you know, it, it's a different flavor. It's a different impact to the taste buds as opposed to the hot bitterness. That's more of an acidic type reaction. And I'll tell you what, this one is really good as far as that goes. Um, and I, I would go as far as bitterness, yeah, I'll, I'll go four out of five on that. And the color, I really like the way this beer looks. It has, a, like I said, you can see um, the the haziness, and you can see the the rich color of that beer. And yeah, it's. I will keep this around. I'm going to put this right there with my Bell's Two Hearted, or sorry, my Bell's Light Hearted as my go-to IPAs because this is a really strong beer. And I have seen Terrapin as far north as um, as Michigan. So. And I've seen this brand in, in Ohio also. So for, you know, my peeps in Ohio, um, see if you can get, uh, you know, one of your uh, local craft brews to get this particular beer. Again, it's the Recreation Ale by Terrapin. Um, and I, I strongly recommend it. It's a, it's a really good beer. I'm going to go, um, you know, five out of five on the color. I'm going to put this beer at uh, um, 17 out of 20. And it is exactly what it should be for a session IPA. So again, good rating on that. So... You know, Terrapin Brewing, great job, guys.